Hey, Beast Kids, I know right now with everything going on, there hasn't been any sports, any practices, and I know everyone could be home going crazy. So here are some drills for you infielders to work on to get better. The first drill we're gonna work on is how to stay low to read a ball with your hand. We use no gloves. Why we use no glove? Because if you can feel, if you can get comfortable with your bare hand, you will never miss a ball. Why? Because the confidence will be on 100. So the first drill, nice and easy. Him seeing the ball, staying low, and just picking the ball. Just seeing the ball, nice and easy, right back at me. We're gonna keep a nice rotation, a little lower. We're gonna keep a nice rotation going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can see how low he is. You can see where he's seeing the ball, where his feet are, and how his body is straight. Right there is a good position to feel the ball so you can see the ball from a distance away. He's got his hands out. I like the hands out in front. I don't like the hands in, why? Because if they're out in front, it's a little bit easier to see the ball and it'll keep the ball away from your face, all right? So after we do that to warm up, now we speed it up. Now we go a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Work on that hand, work on that hand, work on that hand transfer, let that ball get into the palm, right? Comfortable and get it out. Comfortable and get it out. Comfortable and get it out. Good job, good job, all right? The next drill we're gonna do is the one hop, the one bounce. It's gonna be in the same thing, same position, and we're gonna work on wrist hand, wrist hand, wrist hand all the way down, coming up through the ball, all right? Picking that ball up on a hop. Good job, good job, good job. Keep that glove open, right? Always keep your glove open, never close, never close. Why we use tennis balls and not hard balls? Because a tennis ball is a lot bouncier than a hard ball. It's a lot harder to grab a tennis ball than a hard ball. And if you can get comfortable grabbing a tennis ball, imagine how easier it is when you get the hard ball hit at you. Okay, next drill we're gonna do is the backhand drill. Backhand drill, nice and easy. This backhand is going, it's, let's say it's a hard backhand line drive going straight to the ear, all right? Straight to the ear, good job. It's all right, it's all right. Straight to the ear. Keep your fingers down, fingers down. See how his fingers down, not, not palm up? Fingers down to the ground, why? Because if your fingers are down to the ground, that means your glove fingertips are down to the ground as well. The ball doesn't get under you and it doesn't get past you. All right, that's when the balls hit hard. This next backhand drill is coming through it, is when the balls hit slowly and you have to come through the ball. Good job, keep your feet moving, right? Come through it. Good job. Good job. One handed drills. Keep your throwing hand away from your glove. Keep your throwing hand away from your glove. Why? We're working on hand. We're working on building that confidence with your glove work, with your glove hand. Once that confidence is up, you're gonna see the difference, the difference of a hard ground ball hit to you and how to react. Last one. Good job. Now the next drill is coming around the ball. Coming around the ball. Ball's hit that way, turn your body. Hand out, hand out, hand out, turn those feet. Never flat, always have on your toes and never dragging your feet. Toes are up. Good job, get to the ball. Job is, about, is getting to the ball. Job. The next drill is it's coming forward. Coming forward. Working on coming through the ball to go to first base. Good job. Good job. Fingers down. Yep. Good job. Coming through the ball, working on getting your feet straight through the ball. Straight through the ball. Last one. Good job, good job, good job. Those right there, boys, are some good drills to work on when you're home and you're bored and you have nothing else to do. These are some good drills that, that is gonna, that's gonna help your defensive skills and also it's gonna build your confidence up. 
And, and the, thing, the thing about defense is having confidence. If you don't have confidence on fielding a ball, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot harder for you. You know, you can't be afraid to make mistakes. You can't be afraid to miss a ball. As long as you're aggressive and, you're, and you anticipate everything and you work hard, you're gonna be all right. Pete, thank you.